Yeah, so around 12 a.m. we were just, we were all asleep, uh, or trying to sleep at least, because it was really windy. And I don't know, we just hear this big thump, and then we, we look outside, all, as you can see, it went through the back of our neighbor's house, literally destroyed his house. Came into our side, broke the fence, broke our little railing. So loud, scary. Called, we called the police department immediately because we didn't know if the person inside, we don't know if that's her room, so then maybe she's in danger. We called them, but apparently no one was, no one was home, I believe, so that's a good thing. Well, first of all, let's just say that we're very lucky that nobody got hurt and really no property got hurt. So that's, I would say, is a, a miracle considering last night's storm. It's obviously very sad and devastating where the city of trees, it's something that we pride ourselves on and especially having people come here in the summertime and springtime, having all this beautiful green trees and shade. Um, it's, it's important to our, you know, how Midtown looks and feels. Um, it's sad, obviously, but I know that something else is going to come in that tree's place one day, very soon. And like I said earlier, we're just, I think, number one, it's a miracle that no property got damaged and no one got hurt, considering how close it is to this apartment complex. And when you see all the roots that came up, the power and the force to have that happen, it's just, it's completely mind-blowing that... You know, we t a lot of times we take Mother Nature for granted, and this is definitely her way of saying, I'm here. <laughs> Had to clear all this out. All the trash cans got knocked over.